Hey guys, it's Eric and this is my review of the Hajo backpack from Yukon Acrobatics. There are two size variations for this backpack, mini and medium. My review will be focused on the medium size version. If you're interested in the mini, let me know in the comments and I'll review that one in the future as well. This backpack comes in a lot of different color options as you can see here. I honestly love the variety that they have to offer. It has way more than some other backpack brands out there. So I applaud Yukon Acrobatics for giving their customers the options to find the perfect color for themselves. And in case you're wondering, the color that I have is the Lotus Series Honey Mustard Gray color. The dimensions of the backpack measures in at 17.7 by 11.8 by 4.7 inches, which makes it a good sized backpack. It's not huge compared to some other backpacks, but it's big enough to fit mostly just your essentials. It's a good size if you plan to use it as a day pack. It has an overall carrying capacity of 16 liters and it weighs in at about 1.7 pounds, which makes it a lightweight backpack. The main material that makes up the majority of the exterior body is polyurethane that is both PFC and PVC free. That just basically means it's considered vegan approved with an environmentally friendly use of materials during the manufacturing process. Polyurethane adds a layer of water resistance and durability to the backpack. It's also very smooth to the touch as well. On the back side, you have a polyester material back support as well as adjustable shoulder straps made from the same material. I thought it was cushioned properly and it felt comfortable on my shoulders and back, so no complaints here. On one side of the backpack, there is a quick access zipper that gives easy entry to the interior of the backpack, which is convenient if you don't feel like unrolling the top. There are three exterior slip pockets, two narrow ones on the side and one wider one in the center. These are decent sized pockets that would fit items like a small umbrella or even a water bottle, as well as any small items you don't mind leaving on the exterior of the backpack. Since these do not have zippers, it's considered a less secure storage option. In order to access and use the main interior storage compartment, the backpack implements a road top system that closes with a hook and loop fastener that is secured with Velcro. The road top system does take some getting used to as it's not as quick to access compared to a zipper, but you do eventually get the hang of it. Also, if you want to maintain the clean aesthetic of the backpack, be sure you are rolling and securing it properly. Moving on now to the interior, and since it's a little bit hard to film and show properly, I'm going to use the picture included on the website instead. The material used for the interior is made of a soft fleece. This was done to protect your items from being scratched by it. There are two mesh pockets and a key ring. This all sits in front of the laptop pocket that can fit a laptop up to 16 inches in size. Overall, I want to say that I do like this backpack a lot. It has great build quality with no manufacturing flaws that I could find. It has a cool look and style to it. The color scheme, especially for the one I chose, gives it a really cool and unique aesthetic. The interior storage, while it's not the biggest, it's still good enough for my use case as a day pack that I can take to the office and it fits most of my essentials with no issues. So yeah, I'll keep this one short and to the point. The Hajo backpack is definitely worth getting in my opinion. Whether you get it or not is up to you. I'm just here to inform you from my perspective. Alright, that's it for me today. My name is Eric. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out.